we will start this module by understanding the relationship between economic development and industrial expansion. There is a close relationship between economic development and industrial expansion. Industrial trial sector provides certain spillover effects which would benefit other activities enhancement of the technological and managerial skills, dispersal of technology etc. Moreover, the pessimism prospects food and raw materials made the substation of the domestic for manufactured goods seems the most promising tough route to the development for many countries. Industrial development started in India in the middle half of the 19th century. It began with textile industries. The railway lines were laid down and later on jute and iron and steel industries were also set up. Certain consumer industries were also set up. In terms of both value added and value of production, the important industries were cotton textiles with 46% of value added, jute textile with 17.5% of value added and 14.7% of the production, sugar industries with 3.7% of the value added and 6.3% of the production and vegetables oils with 3.5% of value added and 10% of the production. Thus, the share of these four agro-based industries in net value added at the time of independence was as high as 71%. If we consider other agriculture industries also like wheat flour, rice milling, paper and paper boards etc. then the share of agro based industries in value added rises to about 75% which is 3 fourth of the total. This shows the backwardness of the industrial structure in India at the time of independence. Major industrial development started with planned economic development through five year plans and industrial policy resolution of 1948 and 1956. Industrial policy resolution 1948 accepted the importance of both private and public sectors in the industrial economy of India. Industrial policy resolution of 1956 was more specific and based on Mehlnabos's model of planned economic development. Because of various policy matters adopted during the last 65 years, the following major industries have come into existence. After studying this module, you shall be able to know about the major industries in India, learn about the status of different industries in India, identify the types of industries in India, evaluate the contribution of different industries in the economy, analyze the industrialization in India. Now one of the major industries was iron and steel industries. Let us discuss them in detail. India is on an upswing when speaking about the iron and steel industry because of the strong global and domestic demand. This is the basic and key industry for the economic development of any country. The rapid economic growth and progressing demand by the various sectors like manufacturing, infrastructure, real estate, automobiles, railways, etc both at home and abroad has put iron and steel industry on the global map. Initial plans In ancient time, India was the home of producing rust-free iron. Earliest plant The initial plant to produce iron and steel by modern methods was set up in the country in 1874 for the production of pig iron. It was taken over by the Bengal Iron Works, West Bengal in 1889. Tisco Tata Iron and Steel Company, that is Tisco, was established in 1907 in Jamshedpur, which is in present Jharkhand. This was the first unit at large scale production under the private sector. 
ISCO. The Indian Iron and Steel Company that is IISCO ISCO was set up at Burnpur in 1919. This was the first unit under the public sector which is known as Vishveshwarya Iron Steel Works Limited. Post independence period. After independence, special attention was given for the development of iron and steel industry. The second five year plan gave top priority for the development of iron and steel industry. Important players. With a capacity of 1 million each, three steel plants at Raurkela, Bhilai and Durgapur were set up at the public sector ventures with foreign capital collaboration. Also, there was expansion program to double the capacity of the two private sector plants that is TISCO and ISCO to the 2 million and 1 million tons respectively. Later on, the steel plant at Vishakhapatnam, Alloy Steel Plant at Salem, Kalinga Iron Works, Malvika Steel Limited, Jindal Vijayanagar Steel Limited came into existence. Production Capacity Our capacity was 38.68 million tons in 2001 and it increased to 48.8 million tons while our requirement was only 39.8 million tons. So we are in the position to export 9 million tons of iron and steel. Our exports are increasing every year. At present, India is the fourth largest producer of steel and industry in the world. It contributes 2% of GDP. Its cumulative rate of growth is 5.2%. It uses domestically available raw material. Another industry was cement industry. Cement industry is the second largest producer in the world. Its annual growth rate that is AGR is 9.7%. Gross production was 272 million tons in the period of 2006 and 13. It is expected to touch 407 million tons by the year 2020. The total flow of FDI is 2656 rupees and 29 million US dollars. Initial period. Cement manufacturing was started in 1904 in Madras. But we can say that the real startup was in the year 1912 to 13 when three main companies were established. The government had complete control over the cement industry, be it in the field of production or distribution or price. Post independence period. Only in the year 1982, a partial decontrol was announced. The industry was delicensed completely under the new economic policy that is in the year 1991. Major players Prism Cement Limited was the first firm to get Quality Council Certificate of India for ready mix concrete RMC plant in Kochi. Ultratech Cement on Aditya Birla Group Company, ACC Limited, Reliance Siemens Company Limited, Zori Siemens Company Limited. Let us study about the textile industry now. The Indian textile industry is predominantly cotton based. Modern cotton industries was established in 1860 itself. India is the major exporter of cotton textiles and apparels to a large number of countries. There is large growth of organized sector in Indian textile industries. Pre-independence era. The golden period of the Indian cotton industry was the pre-British period. India was the sole producer of the finest cotton in the world, but it was destroyed during the British period. Post-independence period. After independence, many steps have been taken for the revival of Indian textile industry. Now we can divide it into two parts. First is the large scale and the second is the small scale. Large scale. The mills producing at the large scale comes under this sector. Bombay dyeing, only Vimal, Grasim etc. are the main players here. Small scale. 
there are two subsectors of this category power looms and hand looms these fulfill the objectives of decentralization number of industries comes under this category production capacity indian cotton industry has its own importance in the world india is the second largest producer of fiber in the world sixth largest industry automobile industry automobile industry is the fastest growing one it is the sixth largest industry in the world it includes two wheelers three wheelers and four wheelers its annual production is more than 4.5 million india overtook brazil and beating italy canada mexico russia spain france etc its growth rate is 16 to 18% per annum india is asia's third largest exporter of passenger cars only behind south korea and japan Annual sales of vehicle is estimated to be 4 million in 2015. India has 3695 factories producing automatic parts. The profit earning US dollar 400,000. Car export is growing at the rate of 14% per annum and MUV is 19.7%. An expanding middle class a young population and an increasing interest of the companies in exploring the rural markets have made two wheeler segments with 80% market share the leader of the indian automobile market the overall passenger vehicle segment has 14% market share india is also a substantial auto exporter with solid export growth expectation for the near future Various initiatives by the government of India and the major automobile players in the Indian market is expected to make India a leader in the two wheelers and the four wheeler markets in the world by 2020. Main players. The key players are both Indian and foreigners. They are Maruti Suzuki, Ford, Hyundai, Hindustan Motors. Mitsubishi, Renault, BMW, General Motors, Daimler, PSA, Peugeot, Citroen, Volkswagen, Skoda, Mahindra and Mahindra, Tata Motors, Mercedes-Benz, Land Rover, Jaguar Cars, Fiat, Force Motors, Audi, Toyota, Honda etc in all there are 3695 factories jute industries jute industry is one of the oldest industries in india first jute mill which was driven by the power was established in 1859 in west bengal near calcutta after partition indian jute industry has to face setback as major part of industry was not in india now india had only 25% of the total share after that india took it as a challenge and the number of efforts has been done india got the result of this effort now india's position is quite strong india has first position in the production of jute also india is the second largest exporter of jute the indian jute industry has been expanding really fast spanning from a wide range of lifestyle consumer products with courtesy to the versatility of jute innovative ways of bleaching dyeing and finished good processes the jute industry now provides finished jute products that are softer have a luster with aesthetical appeal today jute has been defined as eco friendly natural fiber with utmost versatility ranging from low value geotextiles to the high value carpets decoratives apparels composites upholstery furnishings etc aluminium industry although indian aluminium industry was the first established in the year 1808 it 
took almost 46 years to make its production commercially viable. There are different aluminium plants for the different products such as aluminium smelting plants, extrusion, refineries, FAF plants, wire and rod plants, foil etc. Top players in India. The companies in India are National Aluminium Company Nalco, Hindustan Aluminium Company Hindalco, Bharat Aluminium Company Balco, Malco Madras Aluminium Company, Indal etc. India is the 8th biggest primary aluminium producer in the world. But following Australia, Genia, Brazil and Jamaica, India is the 5th aluminium producer in the world. Chemical industry. The chemical industry creates an immense variety of products which impinge on the virtually every aspect of our lives. While many of the products from the industry such as detergents, soaps and perfumes are purchased directly by the consumers, 70% of the chemical manufactured are used to make products by the other industries including other branches of the chemical industry itself. The industry uses a wide range of raw materials from air and minerals to oil. With increasing competition worldwide, innovation remains crucial in finding new ways for the industry to satisfy its increasing sophisticated, demanding and environmentally conscious consumers. In India, chemical industry is the oldest one of what? There are about 70,000 commercial products from cosmetics and toiletries, plastics and pesticides. India is the 13th largest exporter of pesticides and disinfectants in the world. Volume wise, India is the 12th largest producer of the chemicals. The petrochemicals, agrochemicals, pharmaceutical industries are one of the fastest growing sectors in the Indian economy. Estimated worth of chemicals is $28 billion and it accounts to 12.5% of the total industrial production in India and 18.2% of its total exports. The chemical industry creates an immense variety of products which impinge on virtually every aspect of our lives. While many of the products from the industry such as detergents, soaps and perfumes are purchased directly by the consumers, 70% of the chemicals manufactured are used to make products by the other industries including the other branches of the chemical industries itself. The industry uses a wide range of raw materials from air minerals to oil. Petroleum industry. The petroleum industry in India is one of the oldest industry in the world with oil being struck as early as in 1867 at Makham near Margarita in Assam, nine years after Colonel Drake discovery in Tutisville. Since then the industry has come a long way. Today, after 65 years of independence, the oil sector has seen the growth of giant national companies like ONGC. Major players HPCL, BPCL, IOC and Reliance are in integrated refining and marketing. Food processing industries Food and beverage industries stand at 40.3 billion US dollars in 2013 and estimated to reach at 66.3 billion US dollars in 2018. This industry has registered an average annual growth rate of 18%. Processed food worth Rs 121 billion US dollars in 2012. It has fifth position in the world in terms of production, consumption and exports. Food processing accounts 32% of country's market. Its average growth rate is 10% per annum. The gross worth was 121 billion US dollars in 2012 and expected to be worth in 2015 is to be rupees 194 billion US dollar. The worth of packaged food was about 15 billion US dollars in 2012 and it, the expected worth of the same in 2015 is 30 billion US dollars. 
gross exports in 2013 were worth 12,797 million US dollars and it is 12% of the gross worth. 78% of the consumption is in the urban areas. In India, there is a great scope for food processing technology, especially in processing packaging, frozen food and thermoprocessing. Key players, unique organics in integrated herbal tea, Pepsi company, India beverages, carbonated drinks, fruit based drinks and sports drinks, hard castle restaurants like McDonald's, Restomars International, ITO Limited, Cargilland Indian Food Banking Network that is IFBN. Aviation industry. Aviation industry is mainly a service industry on civil side. On the hand, it is a defense or military aspect. In our country, aircraft production is minimum. Most of the demand is met from outside production. India has given less emphasis on the production side of aviation, whether in the civil side or in the military side. Most attention is directed to operational aspect. Many companies are engaged in providing services. The civil aviation industry in India has ushered in new era of expansion driven by factors such as low cost carriers, modern airports, foreign direct investments in domestic airlines, cutting edge information technology, interventions and a growing emphasis on regional connectivity. In terms of market size, the Indian civil aviation industry is amongst the top 10 in the world with the size of around 16 billion US dollar. The world is focused on Indian aviation from manufacturers, tourism boards, airlines, global businesses to individual travelers, shippers and businessmen. If we can find common purpose among all the stakeholders in Indian aviation, a bright future is at hand. Key players. There are many players in the field. There are mainly service providers and owned by both the Indians and foreign companies. They are Ahmedabad Aviation and Aeronautics Limited, Air Charters Limited, Air Charters Service Private Limited, Aqua Fastening System Airsprays, Avates Tech Vitor Private Limited, Aviation India Air India, Bengal Institute of Technocrats, Deccan Aviation Limited Indigo, Global Vectra Halicoop Limited in Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, Indian Flysafe Aviation Limited Kingfisher Spice Jets, Taneja Aerospace and Aviation Limited Obstruction Lights Thomas Cook India Limited, Trans Asian Aviation Rajiv Gandhi Aviation Academy The Bird Group Shipping Industry India is surrounded by sea on three sides so shipping industry has a very important role to play in the Indian economy as 90% of the nation's trade is by volume is done via sea India has been the largest merchant fleet among the developing nations the Indian shipping industry supports transportation of national and international cargoes and also provides various other facilities such as shipbuilding, ship repairing, lighthouse facilities, freight forwarding, etc. Indian shipping industry with emergence of globalization and liberalization is firmly ready to acquire new dimensions in terms of demand and infrastructural development. Major players Cochin Shipyard Limited, Hindustan Shipyard Limited, Mazagon Dock Limited, Naval Dockyard, Shalimar Works Limited, Hooghly Dock and Port Engineers Limited. Let us now summarize what we have studied in this module. Indian industrial sector has a remarkable position in the world economy. Major industries here in India were mainly handicrafts and especially the cotton industry. British destroyed the handicrafts here which was the strongest side in the industrial sector here. During British period, there was initiation of modern industry when railways were started here. 
most of the heavy and the basic industries such as iron and steel industry, heavy machines, aluminium, electrical machines, chemical fertilizers, shipbuilding, refineries etc. were started under public sector and with foreign aid. India is doing very well in the field of agro based industries such as jute industry, cotton industry, food industries etc. Apart from these, India's major industries are based on modern industrial line that is civil aviation, shipping etc. After the 1990s, there was a major shift in India's industrial policy. New economic policy comprising liberalization, privatization and globalization was adopted. This was remarkable shift in India's industrial policy.